What's up? What's up? It's your boy Fats. I appreciate everybody that has subscribed to my channel to make everything grow. I appreciate all the love and support that people have been giving me because without y'all, I wouldn't reach the goal that I have reached. So I appreciate, like I said, I appreciate all the love and support that y'all gave me from the bottom of my heart. But yeah, like and subscribe to this video and hopefully y'all join the membership for $2.99 if you can. But yeah, the smallest thing could set a person off in the penitentiary at any given time because you never know what a person will do. I mean, like I said, it's just like the smallest thing that you do will flick somebody off. But yeah, one day I get up in the morning, I'm going downstairs, <clears throat> I'm about to go to child, but I ain't going to go to child. I'm just going to get my store sheet and I'm going to come back upstairs. But when I come down there, this dude named Reddy, he was like, hey, Fats, you know what I'm saying? Uh... <clears throat> you want to go to breakfast? And I was like, nah, I ain't really going to breakfast. I'm going to get my little store sheet. He's like, you know you ain't going to get your store sheet until he get back. I mean, sometimes the guard will give it to me fast. Sometimes he'll give it to me. I had to wait to go back. So I was like, shit, I'll go ahead and go to breakfast. He's like, yeah, man, because they got like the shit on the shingles. Now, the shit on the shingles is biscuits and gravy. And sometimes they be having these big old, big, 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 big biscuits and stuff. So he was like, yeah, come on down here. Come with me. I need somebody to kind of walk with me. I was like, all right. So we start walking to the child. And when we start walking, he was like, what you going to do this weekend? I was like, shit, I don't know, man. Shit, what you going to do? He was like, you think about we want to do some trash can cooking? And I was like, yeah, we can put something in. Now, trash can cooking is when everything is like in the bucket. We put our bag in there, put all this food up in there. Like the sausage, the noodles. Some people put sardines in there on the side. I mean, we got the chili in there. We got the cheese. Got the chips. We got everything all in there. And it's called trash bag cooking because once it flares up and stuff like that, it gets kind of like like a pocket or something, like a big like a big burrito, and we just cut it off like that. So I was like, yeah, we're going to do some trash can cooking. And I was like, yeah, we're going to do that. So while we was walking... This dude named Player, he come up and like he put his hands like boom, like right behind on, on both our shoulders and stuff like that. So Reddy get mad. He's like, man, what you doing, man? You know, because like I said, in the penitentiary, you got to be real careful because we could have got stuck or something like that because the way that he rolled up on us, shit, we didn't really know what was going on. And plus, like I said, you got to kind of watch your back when you kind of walking in those type of situations. So. Reddy's like, get to get all mad at him and stuff. And I'm looking at Reddy. I'm like, shit, man, you all right, man? Because like I said, he wanted me to ride with him. So I don't know if he's kind of on edge or something or something probably going on with him or whatever. But, yeah, he got kind of mad at Player. And Player was like, man, chill out, man, chill out, man, chill out. You know what I'm saying? Because Player was like a cool individual. He was one of those type of dudes to where he always was around the power. He was loud and stuff, but he always had some type of slang or whatever because he was some type of pimp or whatever back in the days or whatever. So he was just like, oh, man, you know, don't even trip, player. Don't even trip. Don't even trip on the player. Don't even trip. You know, so Reddy was like, all right, man. So we go in there to the child, to the line right there. Now, at this time, it was like just the regular thing where you could see all the inmates and stuff and they give you your food, but then they made it to where now they just slide it down to where it just comes out the end right there. But yeah, we was walking down, getting our food, putting the gravy on the biscuits and stuff. It was a dude named Peanut. So he put mine on there, put it on there, and me and Reddy's on there, kind of extra and stuff. So then when we get the player, he only put a little bit on it. The player was like, man, you got to, you know, hook me up, man. You like you did everybody else. And Peanut was like, man, push on, man, push on, man, push on. And so we we moving down the line. And that's when, you know, player was back there. He was kind of holding the line up. People was like, man, man, move on, man. You know what I'm saying? They telling him, hey, move on, you know, get on down the line. So we get on down the line. We sit at the table. We eating. And then Reddy was like, hey, hey, player, man, what was that all about? He was like, oh, man, that dude, he been on some bullshit, you know, or whatever. So I was like, shit, damn, man, you know, what type of shit he be on, you know? And he was like, oh, man, him and uh, Ben, 
I guess, you know what I'm saying, the cool or whatever. And then since I, I came up in the picture and I'm talking to Ben, he's getting kind of mad and stuff. And I was like, oh, damn, they got, like, they in love or something or something like that. I was just joking, you know. He was like, nah, they cool. He ain't even like that, you know. They just, you know, play, both of them being in the streets, they know each other and stuff like that. So I was like, all right. So we get up. <clears throat> we go back to the cell house. I get my little store sheet, and I go back up to the to the cell, smoke my little cigarette, filling out my little store sheet. Now we only can spend fifty dollars a week at this time, so I only can do like fifty. But I ain't doing fifty. I'm just probably just getting some ice cream, you know, in a sense maybe some stamps, just the stuff to kind of keep me kind of rolling because I already got the store and stuff going on. So that's when player knock on my door. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, yeah, what's up, man? What's up? He come in there. He's like, uh, you got that little store sheet? I was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. So I go in my little legal box where I keep all my uh, legal mail and stuff. At that way, the police can't look in there on GP. So I get the little thing out real quick. I give it to a player. <coughs> he goes, he's like, all right, man, I'll be right. When they do the store, I'm going to go ahead and look out for you. I was like, all right. So a few minutes later, we go to chow. I come back in and I said, I'm going to use the phone for a second. So I go over to the phone, you know, with this time, like I said, we can just dial out to put the number and make it a collect call. It's like a dollar 50 at that time. It's like probably 25 cents a minute after that. So you can't really be on the phone that much, you know, because you run your bill up because they don't cut the phone off. They just let you just keep talking. So you got to be real careful when you're on the phones and stuff. Cause you don't want to run your bill up. So while I'm on the phone, that's when player come over there. He was like, you know, trying to use the phone, but I guess it, it, it gets, guess the people wasn't accepting it. So he got kind of mad. He did knock the phone, the thing down, you know what I'm saying? Real quick, he walk off, you know what I'm saying? He kept pacing back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Like he wanted to say something to me, but shit, I only stay on the phone like five minutes, you know? So after that, I get off the phone. I go back up to my little cell. Now they do the store call. Everybody get their store. And a uh, <clears throat> player brings me back to the store, you know. So uh, <clears throat> we sitting there talking for a second. He's like, hey, you think you can uh, make a little call for me, you know? And I was like, shit, I don't know. I said, shit, my people don't be doing it. He said, I know how to do the three-way thing. All I got to do is just click a couple times like this real fast, and it'll let you get on three-way. And I was like, shit, I don't know, man. I said, shit, you sure this shit work? Now, I heard people talk about that stuff, but I ain't never seen nobody actually do it, you know? So I didn't really know. He was like, yeah, all you got to do is just click it a couple times real fast. And I uh, don't make sure that your phone don't hang up. And I was like, but shit, how you know my phone ain't gonna hang up when I want to start? So he said, you just gotta do it fast to where it don't do it. So I was like, shit, I can see, man. You know what I'm saying? What's up? So he gave me my little story. <clears throat> I put it up. Now I'm on the run looking at people. Cause like I said, a store day, people coming to pay me and stuff. So I'm on the run. I'm looking. I'm lying in the day room and stuff. <clears throat> now Peanut, you know what I'm saying? He's in the cell house too. But he's on the other end down there to where I can't see. He's on the bottom tier that where I can't see his when he come in there. So I guess he walking in there, you know, and uh, players down there playing dominoes and stuff on the table. I guess he's being kind of loud. So then that's when I was I seen him coming like coming over there, he leaning on the table like this. I guess he was telling Peanut, you know, what I'm saying he need to kind of chill out. You know, what I'm saying on the kind of loud noise because I guess he had some type of headache or something. I don't know. What he what was going on, but that's what I'm thinking. So when a uh, player get up, you know what I'm saying for a second, he looking at Peanut. They're like they kind of squared off a little bit. That's when Reddy come out the cell. He's like, "Hey, what y'all doing?" You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, Reddy was one of those type. He wasn't like the cell boss, but he made sure that people didn't do no no type of crazy shit to bring the kind of heat up on the cell house and stuff. So he come over there. Telling them, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? I need to kind of chill out with that, you know? So I'm looking down, like I said, I'm looking down. So then, like, probably about 20 minutes later, that's when player come up to my cell, and I was like, shit, what's going on with him? He was like, man, shit, dude said he, 
had a headache and stuff, and I was over there slamming the dominoes, and he was just got kind of irritated, and I was like, shit, damn. I was like, shit, this morning, you know what I'm saying? He was tripping about the little biscuits and gravy, and he was like, yeah, and uh, I was like, shit, y'all all right, man? I said, everything cool between y'all? He was like, yeah, man, everything's cool between me and him. Y'all said, he just, like I said, him and Ben, you know what I'm saying, are real cool, and I guess they, uh, doing some type of crazy stuff. I don't know what's going on when they're probably trying to put a plan together or something like that, he said. So I uh, leave out, I mean, I let player leave out. I go back on the run, I'm looking and stuff on the run and stuff, boom. They say, hey, the next day we go to child. Like I said, me ready and player, we all walking together. So when we get to the uh, child hall right there, like I said, you can see everything, so they give us all of the hot dogs, give, we get two of them. So then when they give us, now when they get to a uh, player, I guess Peanut, you know what I'm saying, one give them the one that's kind of broke, you know. So he got kind of mad. He was like, hey, call the lady over here, you know what I'm saying, because you on some bullshit right now, Peanut. And they got to, you know what I'm saying, little Peanut was like, man, I ain't got to do nothing. I ain't got to do nothing, you know what I'm saying. I ain't going to call nobody over here. So with that little commotion going on, she ended up coming anyway and ended up giving him, like like I said, not the broke ones, just the, uh, the two normal ones right there. So we leave out again. I was like, man, shit, y'all on some bullshit, man. I was just telling you know what I'm saying? Player, man, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Just, man, just don't even worry about that shit, man. Just keep on moving, man. Don't even worry about that dude and stuff when it comes to that. And he was like, man, shit, that dude's just, man, on some real kind of bullshit. And I was like, shit, he probably is. I said, but you don't need to be getting yourself in no type of situation and try to argue about whatever he's trying to do. I said, because see, he's just trying to mess with you. He ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, really do no type of motion because everything that you're doing, he got something to say. So player was like, all right, man, I'm going to try to, you know what I'm saying, see what's up. So we go to the yard that night. When I go to the yard, like I said, I walk the track all the time just to try to ease my mind, just to get away from the penitentiary and don't even worry about none of that stuff. Just walk the track, you know what I'm saying, a few times. So then when they, uh, I seen Ben and <clears throat> Peanut, they was walking together. So then when uh, they got like by me, he, I heard him say, I don't give a fuck about him. And uh, he looked at me. He was like, I wasn't talking to you, man. I wasn't talking to you. I was just talking. It just came out like that. So I was like, shit, damn, who the fuck are you talking about? So I just keep on walking, go back in to the cell house. The next day, you know what I'm saying, which is Saturday, like I said, uh, I go to the phone. Down there, and that's when Peanut come down there. And he's like, hey, you think you can try it? And I was like, shit, I can, I can try, man. You know what I'm saying? So when I got on the phone with my people, I was like, hey, just hold on for a second. You're going to try to do something real quick, you know? So um, gave him the number to where uh, she can call on the three-way. So I give give player the phone. He he tried to do it real quick, but the phone ended up cutting off. And he was like, man, just call back, call back, call back. And I was like, shit, man, I ain't going to do that. I said, shit, you just wasted, you know what I'm saying, my little five-minute call that I had. You know, now I got to wait till another day to kind of call my people because, shit, this is kind of, you know what I'm saying, messed up. Because I ain't going to just, like I said, with them phones, you can't always get back and forth on the phone when it comes to that. So... A little bit later, I go back. Like I said, I'm up in my cell. He come back up in there. He's like, hey, man, just try it one more time, man. You know, I said, man, I'll try tomorrow, man, to see what's up, you know. So the next day, I get on the phone. You know what I'm saying? My people already told me what, because I guess she got my, you know what I'm saying? My people kind of up on game. She already knows. So <clears throat> she was like, hey, tell him, you know, she said either he going to have to do the compensary or the phone bill because she can't do both of them. So which one do we want? So when it was right there, I said, hey, your girl said, you know what I'm saying, either she can do the compensary or she can do the phone because she can't do both of them because like I said, you've been calling too much and stuff and you're running the phone bill up and stuff. And he was like, shit, just tell her just do the compensary, all right. But is she gonna come up here tomorrow? I was like, shit. I can call, like I said, I don't know if she gonna come up here tomorrow or not because like I said, she, she ain't say that. That's so all she said was right there. So he was like, all right, man. So he walk off, he leave out. So <clears throat> I go back, I, like I said, I go out to the yard, you know, later on that day. 
And when I'm out on the yard, like I said, I see Ben and Peanut, they to walk on the track, but they don't say nothing to me when they walk by. I just see them walk on the track. So we come back in from the yard. I go take my little shower and stuff back there. You know what I'm saying? Me and Player, we taking our little shower. So that's when uh, <clears throat> Peanut come up in there. When Peanut come up in there, Player just act, hurry up and just leave. Like, just get to, like he's just on a mission just to try to get up out. So I take my, finish my little shower. I'm walking out. And when I'm getting to the stairs, going upstairs, that's when I heard Peanut come out. Who took my motherfucking towel? Who took my motherfucking towel? That's some more bullshit. Somebody took my motherfucking towel. Now, he's all wet and he's in his drawers in the day room. And I'm on the stairs and I'm looking at him coming out like that. He's like, who took my motherfucking towel? That's some bullshit. Y'all know some motherfucking bullshit. I know I brought my motherfucking towel up in here. So... I'm looking, and that's when Reddy come out. He's like, man, what's going on? What's going on? I guess he's trying to, you know what I'm saying, chill everything out, you know? So uh, <clears throat> then, I, like I said, I'm walking up the stairs a little bit right there, and that's when I seen <clears throat> Player come out, and he got, like, the, the, the towel in his hand, and he's like, damn, man. He's looking like, damn, should I say something? You know, that's the way he's looking, you know, because I guess uh, he probably took old boy's towel, so... When we go back up, he was like, man, that's some more bullshit, you know. You hear him out in the uh, day room talking and stuff. So then that's when Player was like, man, I actually took your towel. He yelled down there at him. And he's looking, he said, man, you a sorry bitch-ass motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? You doing that? He looking up on the ground talking to him. You a sorry-ass motherfucker, you know, taking my motherfucking towel. And Player was like, shit, you want Here, I can give it back. He was like, man, I don't want that motherfucking towel now. Should I take my own motherfucking towel? Like I said, he's on the bottom tier down there. So I don't see when he goes in there. So he he goes in his, in his room. You can hear him slam the door. Boom. So, so then, <coughs> players like, damn, man. When I walking up, he's like, man. He's like, man, that's some bullshit. He said, damn, fast. I should have knew that. Well, he said, when I got up in the room, man, I seen my towel on the bed and stuff. So I was kind of like, damn, man. Dad, did I take that man's towel? He's like, shit, I did some more foul shit right there. And he said, but shit, I ain't pay attention to what was going on. He said, I was just trying to leave up out there. I was like, damn, man, that's fucked up, man. You know what I'm saying? You're going to take that man's towel and stuff like that. So <clears throat> Sunday come visits, you know what I'm saying, post a row. But then nobody come to his visit. So boom, and at the end of the day, he was kind of mad. He was walking around a little cell house, you know, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Looking a little crazy. And I'm looking at player. I'm like, like I said, I'm looking on the run. You can just tell that he was just kind of agitated, you know what I'm saying, a little bit. So he's sitting at the domino table being loud again, you know, boom, 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 boom. And then that's when that dude Peanut come out. And when Peanut come out, you know, <clears throat> he went over straight over to the table. And when he before he even got to the table, player jumped up and just started swinging on him. Bam, 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 bam. And he backed up against the wall. Like, like, because when he, like, the day room is kind of big, but it's also kind of small. So when he was hitting him, he was backing up. Peanut was backing up. Boom, he got to the wall. Boom, boom, boom. He just kept throwing his motherfucking. I mean, Peanut wasn't even throwing no motherfucking hands. He was just taking all the little blow. I guess, you know what I'm saying? Player was upset about his visit or whatever was going on with his girl. He just got out of control. He just got this boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Swinging on dudes, you know what I'm saying? So motherfucking hard. That's when Reddy come up out the cell. You know, he trying to break it up. But, you know what I'm saying? Player, you know what I'm saying? Hit, hit. Motherfucker Reddy by my Reddy nose start bleeding and stuff. So then Reddy was like, man, y'all chill the fuck out. You know, y'all chill the fuck out. Y'all chill the fuck out. Doom, that's when Peanut, he starts, I guess he got his momentum back or whatever. He starts swinging back. Boom, 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 boom. Now both of them just up in there swinging, hitting each other. Like in the game, punch out, you know. So so then after that, you know what I'm saying, when the fight was going on, everybody started moving up like around, start spectating and stuff. And then the guards in the booth, they kind of was looking and stuff. When they seen that it was going down, they hit the little button on the people, you know what I'm saying, probably about three minutes later after the little... Choo -choo -choo. I mean, Reddy was trying to, you know what I'm saying, break him up and stuff, but he couldn't do nothing because his nose was bleeding. And he was just, you know, just always bent over like this, you know. So... 
I'm looking at that, you know, I'm like, damn, man, you know, I ain't go over there and try to help him out or anything like that because shit, the whole situation went kind of fast. So then the police come in there, <coughs> had everybody, you know what I'm saying, back up a little bit before they do the tear gas and stuff up in there, but shit, they ain't do nothing like that. They just kind of, you know what I'm saying, handcuffed them up, boom. Put them all in handcuffs, took Reddy and everybody, all of them to, uh, to the hole. But Reddy ended up getting up out there, you know what I'm saying, later on that night because they seen they knew that he didn't have nothing to do with it. But yeah, when you're in the penitentiary, the smallest thing, you know what I'm saying, can lead the person into a bad situation. You don't want to get yourself involved in situations like that because you never know what type of small individual thing can happen to a person while they're up in there. You know what I'm saying? It was all over a towel, but you know, I mean, it, things ended up kind of bad for both of them because, shit, they both ended up in the hole. But like I said, you don't want to put yourself in the penitentiary and end up getting yourself involved in situations like that because it always ends up bad when it comes to certain things, you know what I'm saying? So you don't even want to even put your, so your mindset into even getting yourself involved in things like that. But, yeah, I want y'all hit that like and subscribe button for y'all, boy, and also become, also become a member of the Fats and Them team for only two ninety nine if you can. You know what I'm saying? But this is your boy Fats. Y'all stay up. I'm up out of here. Y'all be peaceful.